Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Okay? All right, Aquarius. So let's get popping. Okay? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Aquarius, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Aquarians. So we have the Judgment card in the reverse. Sagittarian energy, the Hanged Man, Piscean energy. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Aquarius, please. Oh, okay. So we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse, and we have the Four of Wands in the reverse. We've got the King of Wands, Leo Sag Aries energy. I have to change this camera. I see it glitching. It's time to change the camera. And we've got the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aquarians, please. So we've got the Five of Swords and we have the Knight of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Aquarians, please. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages. Okay, so we've got the Two of Pentacles in the reverse, and we've got the Five of Pentacles. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Aquarians. Okay, so we have, ooh, Three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Hot Stuff, Aqua. Okay, so let's see here. Under the deck, we've got the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords, and the Justice card, Libra Energy. Okay, so Aquarius, what I'm feeling here, we have a situation where with the Judgment card in the reverse and the Five of Swords, I feel like at one point in time in the past, you made a very quick, very impulsive, very reckless decision, okay? With the Hanged Man and the Knight of Cups, I feel like you gave your heart or you pursued something um, that you should have taken a minute and thought about before you did this, okay? There's an energy of, man, you know, I, I, I kind of just jumped headfirst into the situation. I should have, you know taken a minute and think before I took this leap, right? Now, in the present moment, there's an energy with the Seven of Cups in the reverse of, I can see clearly now that vision ain't for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone here is no longer on the fence. They're no longer, you know, maybe there was this energy of, well, maybe we can make this work. Maybe if we try a little hard, whatever. You know, someone here is dropping the ball. I, you know, there's not a doubt in my mind. You gotta go, okay? Four of Wands in the reverse. There is no marriage taking place here. There's no stability taking place here. There is no, like, you know what I'm saying? There's just no, um, there may have been an engagement that gets broken, but there's just no, there's, someone here doesn't want commitment here. They don't want commitment here. And with the Five of Pentacles, I'm getting ghosting. Like someone here maybe is leaving a home. Someone maybe is moving out of a house. We are done. This is Zippo. We're not doing this anymore, okay? Um, in the future, in the, in the near future, what I'm feeling here is with the King of Wands energy and the Eight of Cups, you're returning back to something, Aquarius. You're returning, Eight of Cups is you walked away from something, so whatever you walked away from here, Aqua, you're returning back to it confidently this time, knowing that with the Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, if you put the work into this connection, you will reap tremendous success in this connection. So I see an apology coming in here or possibly even a new beginning. You're pursuing it passionately. And with the Seven of Pentacles, you want to invest in something here. You're getting the hell away from a karmic. Okay, you're getting away from a karmic that is crazy jealous, crazy possessive. You really regret doing this. Yeah, I feel like there's a sense of Aquarius. You may be coming in to beg forgiveness for breaking someone's heart or guys, this could be completely vice versa. So what I'm feeling here is Aquarius, you hurt someone to pursue another person and you're realizing that that other person there's no stability there there's no commitment there this person is just crazy okay <laughs> like this third party person has just you know i i don't know what's going on this person maybe is very jealous prone to emotional outbursts um you know just just not a positive energy so you're going back to pursue what you left behind and you're confident that if you just do the right thing 
and work together with this person that you left behind, you could achieve unbelievable financial success. Um, just your dreams will come true. You know, the 10 of Pentacles talks about setting goals and achieving everything that you set out to do. So whatever you were meant to accomplish, you will accomplish it with the person that you originally left behind. Okay. Yeah. See the page of swords and the nine of wands, you're coming to this realization that you can't take this anymore. And with the chariot and the three of wands, you're moving, you're making a decision based on victory. You're, you know, you know what the right decision here, Aquarius, is, and you're going to make it for your own victory, your own success, okay? So, let's see here. Let's go ahead and clarify. Clarity, guidance, and love messages. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Aquarians, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aquarius. Knight of Swords again. Oh, did we have that here? No. Okay, the five of swords is what I was looking at. Yeah, see, this is that reckless and impulsive decision, okay? Um, five of swords talks about, okay, let's just say you get into a fight with somebody and you're like, you know what? I can do so much better than you. I don't even, we're, we're done. Watch me, watch me leave this house and replace all of you in five seconds. <laughs> like, that's, that's that energy, this one up butthead energy. So someone here maybe stormed out of someone's house, left someone behind, made a very quick, very impulsive decision tell me about the five of swords we've got the nine of pentacles and the eight of cups look at how funny this is this is someone that i don't need you i don't need you i'm gonna walk away from you and all the bullshit that comes with you and i'm gonna be just fine all by myself so we've got the eight of cups someone leaving the eight of cups someone coming back okay so we've got the hanged man six of cups in the reverse I feel here like someone should have waited. You know why? Because with the Six of Cups in the reverse, someone made this decision. Like, there must have been a bad fight, okay? And someone made this decision based on unpleasant memories, okay? So someone was just sitting one day and thinking, you know what? I can't stand the way my person chews. I can't stay the way, stand the way my person breathes. I can't stand the way my person walks. I just can't stand my person. I can't stand the way they sleep. I can't stand the way they shower. I can't stand the way they talk. I, someone's in this energy of like just thinking about all the negative of their person. And that's what sparked this huge and sudden reckless thing that they did. Okay. Someone here just had a huge tower moment. Someone just got it in their head that their person was just they're done they don't want to deal with this person tell me about the knight of cups and the seven of swords in the reverse okay so someone here slipped away okay someone here just abandoned ship they slipped away and they went to go pursue something and now they're wishing that with the seven of swords in the reverse they didn't do this okay they're wishing you know because this could even have constituted as cheating as the time at the time where someone here was just like you know i don't like this person i just want to let them go i want to go slip away and dip off and and you know go to this you know possible water sign cancer scorpio pisces energy someone went to go bring their love or whatever somewhere else okay and um yes yeah, someone here chose a third party queen of wands a leo sag aries energy someone here with the judgment card and the three of wands consistently chose a third party you know over and over again or decided to just make a final jump and just go towards a third party tell me about the seven of wands in reverse the ace of cups someone here thought that there would be this beautiful new beginning in love they thought that they would you know have their cup filled but no <laughs> they did not make the right decision here and they see that now tell me about the two of pentacles in the reverse king of wands in the reverse leo sag aries energy we're dealing with someone who has a temper someone who's insanely jealous and controlling and possessive um, with the nine of cups here and the six of swords i'm feeling that someone here is um not emotionally fulfilled in this connection and they want to leave okay so you know aquarius it's like you thought that you were going to receive all this loving and whatever in this this new connection and you're like oh my gosh what is this <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's like, what just happened? Tell me about the Four of Wands in the reverse and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you, you were patient with this Knight of Pentacles energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. You, you took your time to try to really like make this work maybe or offer something somewhat stable. But with the four of wands in the reverse, it's unstable. Someone here is constantly maybe sabotaging the connection. Um, 
Yeah, it's just like you don't know if you're going to be talking to this person from one day to the next. Maybe this person likes to give silent treatment, so I don't know. Tell me about the five of pentacles. We've got the devil. Yeah, someone here is leaving this toxicity behind Capricorn energy. I feel like someone is coming to the realization it's time to block this out because they're tired of the heartache. They're tired of, you know, they're, they're realizing here that they need to block the third party. Someone here went to the third party and they need to they need to backtrack, okay? Tell me about the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. We've got the Hermit in the reverse. So now someone here is making a move and they're making it with full-blown confidence. When the King of Wands wants something, the King of Wands gets it, okay? So someone is confidently going back to who? To the person that they left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of... Yeah, so someone here went to go... Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. There may have been, uh, see, because we've got the Knight of Cups here and the Queen. So someone here maybe left a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It doesn't have to be, though, okay? But they left someone who truly loved them, okay? They left them out in the cold to go pursue other options, to go to, go to the competition, okay? And now what's happening here is we have, you know, the Knight of Wands and the Three of Wands. Someone is coming back, okay? They're coming back to that person. Tell me about the uh, eight of cups tell me about the eight of cups and the three of swords yeah they're going back to the person whose heart got broken they, they're going back to the person whose heart got broken with the star card aquarian energy and the two of cups and the four of wands and the upright and the knight of cups and the lover's card <laughs> someone here is coming in with an apology a big time apology okay um i feel like there's a strong soulmate connection here and someone's coming in to tell this person all about it like listen i don't know why i got tempted away from you i don't know what happened but but you are my true person. You are my true soulmate. We've got the four of wands here, marriage, stability, home, family. Okay. We've got the two of cups and we've got the star Aquarian energy. You loved me better. You loved me better. You fulfilled my wishes. You always tried to make me happy. We had more in common. You know what I'm saying? This is a strong, strong, strong soulmate connection here. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Tell me about the three of pentacles. Tell me about the three of pentacles, please. We've got the chariot, Cancerian energy. Someone here is about to make a decision for their victory, for their highest good. Okay, for their highest good. Tell me about the ten of pentacles, and it's going to reap a lot of reward, Aquarius. A lot of reward. Yep, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and the Ten of Pentacles. What we're going to have here is with this reconciliation, and I feel that with the Moon card and the Fool card and the Magician here, here's what's interesting. Someone is coming in, they're making a decision that they know is the right decision. OK, um, with the King of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, you may be going back to a water sign. Doesn't have to be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It doesn't have to be, though. OK, the point here is, is that there's going to be a lot of love, a lot of emotion, a lot of money, a lot of prosperity. There's going to be a lot of prosperity there with the Three of Cups and the Moon and the Fool and the Magician. I'm feeling here that someone here possibly learn their lesson about third parties okay not to have the wool taken over their eyes about third parties not to be manipulative not to be reckless and careless do you see what i'm saying so they may have learned that lesson another thing i'm seeing here is that someone is about to reconcile and they have no idea how taking this leap of faith what it's going to manifest into so when this person comes back to manifest with this king of cups energy or queen of cups energy or whatever the case may be, um, whenever they go back and make this quote unquote right decision, they have this person in their wildest dreams can't even imagine how much it's going to pay off. Okay. All right. So let's pull some Oracle here. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Clarity, guidance, love messages. So we've got a new romantic cycle begins. You and your loved ones are safe and nothing will come of the situation. The end of a tough cycle approaches. So what's happening is reconciliation. Um, a new... A new cycle begins between you and a person that you are safe with, a person that is that you are not going to be leaving this person's side again. This is a solid, safe, stable connection. Why? Because you went towards a connection where nothing is going to come of it nothing <laughs> like you know like i said seven of cups in the reverse four of wands in the reverse two of pentacles in the reverse nada nothing's happening here okay 
So let's see here. Clarity, guidance, and love messages. We've got community here. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Man holding a coin. And we have the sun. Yep, I'm seeing here we've got community, man holding a coin, and the sun. Someone here maybe went towards a third party and they're realizing that they were happier with their husband, their wife, the person that they were once committed to, okay? And I feel like maybe it's divinely guided for it to be this way. Maybe someone had to go out there and realize what they had at home, you know? Clarity, guidance, love messages. So we've got dark thoughts. We've got professional assistance and status quo. Um, under the deck, a creative endeavor. So what we have here, guys, is someone is stuck in their head. They have to put the work into trying to reconcile with this other person to fix the status of the situation. And that may be a little overwhelming for somebody, okay? Um, maybe someone here has to seek a lawyer to fix all this craziness that they did. Or maybe someone is going to go see a psychologist or a therapist to get their thoughts straight because someone's like, man, I made a freaking mess. How do I fix this now? You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, how do I, how do I fix this now? What do I do? So someone here may be trying to get advice from somebody on how to fix the status of their situation. Cause someone, someone here is in a really bad place. Someone here is in a really bad place mentally, or, you know, just in life, they put themselves in a bad position, but I feel like it's going to get a lot better. Yes. Yeah, see friends, let your friends help you in healing. So we may have someone here that's going to friends and family being like, listen, you know, I made this mistake now what the hell do do I do so someone here is going toward yes yeah, see someone here is trying to make the effort to reconcile after a major deception someone here is like how the hell am I going to get this person to ever trust me again you know how am I going to get them to ever trust me again clarity guidance love messages clarity guidance love messages for Aquarius Ooh. yeah stay optimistic and true love so spirit is telling you to have faith because what you left behind was true love it was true love it was meant to be okay all right, guys. Um, I love you and take care. Bye.